this could be a failure video that I never actually put out, but we'll see. Because it's my friends and welcome back to the air effect it is new year's eve and in classic i plan very well fashion i decided to do a 1920s look to ring in the new year but of course you won't be seeing this until the new year so happy new year i am not a great planner i had wanted to do this video for a while but i really wanted to find a actual 1920s dress to wear and those are harder to find in larger sizes and especially now that i am pregnant which i haven't really announced here on the channel i've kind of only said things on my instagram but i am expecting our fourth baby and so with those things in mind it was a little harder to find a dress that would actually fit correctly but i found one and so I'm just gonna go for it. I kind of, I very haphazardly curled my hair. It is not perfect, um, but I really wanted to create a 1920s look, and here we are. I have no plans. I have one makeup look that I might try to recreate. Otherwise, I'm just basically doing this completely spontaneously with <laughs> no plans at all, so it should be fun. One thing I will say is that it's a thing that bothers me the most. 1920s hair could be long. There were actresses. Mary Pickford was an actress who had long hair in the 1920s, and she was a very popular actress. The 1920s was not just all about a short bob, and a lot of times people would have long hair but achieve the bobbed look by creating a bun or something in the back of their head, so they had the waves in the front, and then a bun, so it kind of looked fashionable for the time period. So today I will be doing my best to recreate a authentic 1920s look. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So for makeup, I do have some sort of historically accurate things. I do have some Besame products. I have the Besame Cake Mascara, which is a 1920s based product. Um, 1920s to 1940s, I believe. I have their Crimson Rouge, which is also based on a 20s shade. I have the uh, Translucent Brightening Vanilla Powder, which is a more vintage formula. Um, and then I have the... <laughs> uh, this is a miniature from the Snow White collection. It is sneezy, and it's a dark maroony color, so I think that will work well for this look. And then I also have my regular foundation because I do have a Besame, where did I put it? Oh, I do have this Besame foundation, um, but it's a shade too dark for me and I don't love the way it applies, especially because I'm going to be using Cream Rouge. So, um, yeah, I'll do the best that I can with what I have. I am also going to be using the BH Cosmetics palette in Smoky Eye. The 1920s are notoriously stereotyped as being very smoky eyed. And I don't know whether I'm going to go for a more silent film actress look, which was really the majority of the very dark, smoky makeup is film actresses, so that their makeup actually showed up on camera and they didn't look dead. Um, but if you look at everyday photos of 1920s women, they weren't always super dark makeup and all of that. But because it's a New Year's Eve look, I kind of do want to go dramatic. So we will see. I have two different reference photos I'm going to try to recreate from. Um, I'll put them here up on the screen when I start, but yeah. I've heard a lot of people say you should just conceal over your eyebrows for the 20s look instead of having to, you know, glue them down, but I have very like coarse eyebrow hairs. Some reference photos. I love this photo. I like her makeup a lot. It's not too strong. I really like her eyebrows. It's a very, very 1920s look. So I'm going to powder my face and I'm going to use the actual powder puff. This is the one thing I don't like about Besame is that there's this little flap on here 
and it makes it just a little weird to get powder out of it. I suppose I could break it off if I wanted to, but I just dumped that all everywhere. Um, and it does come with a little powder puff, so I'm going to powder puff my face. I really, really, really don't like the way that set my foundation. But you guys probably won't be able to tell. It's very, like, wrinkle. No, it's kind of cakey looking. Oh, well. So I'm going to be using this brush. Don't know, oops. Don't know the name of it, but it's more of a packing brush. I'm going to take the lighter gray and start with that on my lid. I don't think I'm really going to consider this a tutorial so much as just get ready with me 1920s style. Because... I'm not an expert in 1920s makeup at all. I'm going to try to keep the makeup generally just on the lid. Um, I will smoke it outward a little bit. I don't, I really want it to keep it kind of a round shape. A lot of the shapes you might notice in 1920s makeup was very round. Um, you had like the very round Cupid's bow, the very round blush round eyes, big round eyes were a thing. So that is my goal with this makeup. All right, and I'm also gonna put that same color under my eyes to really smoke them out. Okay, so now we're gonna do some blending <laughs> because this is a mess. I'm gonna dip into the lightest shade of gray in this palette just to blend around the edges of this. So she has, in the photo that I'm in, kind of going off, she does have more of a cat eye shape. Not really a cat eye, it just kind of follows the line of her eyebrow. So I'm going to do that a little bit. The shape of the eyebrow that I know I'm going to have. It's kind of like a sad cat eye because it doesn't actually go up, it goes out. Um, and one thing is blending this color all the way up to the eyebrow. So that it does it so it looks very smooth. I'm trying to blend out this wing to be very, very, very subtle. I'm gonna take this sort of smoky gray, it's more of a steel gray, or I guess. Put that all over the lid. So right in the crease, I'm just creating just kind of a crease shape. Because that seems to be a little bit what she had, and I feel like this is. Not as subtle as her makeup was, but like I said, I didn't really plan this very well. So I feel like I have too much right out here and I'm going to just dab at it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take one of my lighter gray shades and go up towards the brow more with a blending brush because I don't want it to be too much. I am going to take my dark shade this is going to be darker than hers and just go under the eyes. And then also very near the upper lashes. Okay, I'm happy with that for now. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to create a longer and more curved eyebrow shape. So we'll see how this goes. I've never really done 1920s brows without blocking out my own um, and I'm going to have to resist the urge to just follow the shape of my natural brow. That is actually not too bad. I extended my brow just a little bit. I don't want to go too far from my natural brow shape because then it will look very comical, but I'm also going to extend this part in. Um, and I'm kind of just trying to create the illusion that my brows are longer and round. This brow is turning out a little more arched, but I don't want to mess with it too much because <laughs> So I think that's as good as I'm going to get with the brows. So I have Best Make Mascara, and I have heard that if you powder your lashes first, it kind of helps the mascara to go on better and to look thicker. And so what I've done is I've put some water in here, scrubbed it around until it's the consistency I like. Now I'm going to apply.
Okay, so that is the mascara applied. Um, not gonna do a lot of it because this is pretty much what I was going for. So let's move on to lips. I'm kind of going to follow the natural shape of my lips. I'm just going to enhance my cupid's bow a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to use Sneezy to go over the lip color. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the lips. They're not perfect, but they never are. So my hair, it's not ideal to curl it with a curling iron because, well, the one I have is not very thin and the curls will not be as tight as they should be for a 20s look, but I'm gonna do the best with what I have. So what I have to accomplish the look is hairspray, um, a fine tooth comb, some duck bug clips, and with these, I'm going to try to create something like a Marcel wave. I know it's not gonna be perfect, but been very copiously hairspray. Um, and now I am going to tease all of it. I am trying to pin little waves in the front of this. because I didn't plan. All right, so I am going to create the same kind of waves from this side. I'm trying to pin them down kind of flat. my head a little bit more. Now I have to decide what I want to do with the rest of my hair. I had some photos saved and I don't remember where I pinned them or whatever. So I am going to create kind of fake bob. I'm gonna wear that. I have to pin it to my head. Um, and I'll be back. watching this video. I do wish that I could have filmed more of the outfit because this is a true 1920s dress but someday I will give you a tour of the dress because it is very beautiful also very delicate um, but I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you have a wonderful 2020. I hope that it brings you everything that you were hoping for. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more vintage content. I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though I am not an expert at 1920s looks at all. It was very fun to create this look. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!